Referee Chris Jenkins leading the sides out. Celtic on your right in the home kit. Hibernian in the change the way colours coming out on your left, led by Ellis Notley wearing the captain's armband this afternoon. Four changes from Celtic and Fran Alonso from that semi-final win against Glasgow City last Sunday. Craig, Otto, Shen and Lefersky come in. Robertson, Ross, Jacinta and Hayes drop out. An injury hit season for Hibernian and it's the same story today. No Boyle, Thomas, McGregor, McAloney and Morrison. In come Leishman and Hines out are Koiken and Murray. Clark. Craig. Shen with the advancing run, a lovely touch, slows it down, checks the options and there's a the strike just over the crossbar. And when you're finding it difficult to get into the penalty area, it's not a bad choice to hit from long range and Hannah Kerner there, not too far away. Kelly Clark. Continues. Clipped over for Flint, set nicely for Gallagher. That's a beautiful strike from Amy Gallagher. And Hibernian supporters, they just knew that she would come back and haunt a former club again. What a strike that is. Um, I think it's one of those, as soon as it leaves your boot, you know exactly where it's going. And to see it go top bin, it's well deserved for Amy Gallagher. But from Hibs, they can't allow Kelly Clark to be driving with the ball that far forward. Somebody has to come out and press that, but take nothing away from that strike. That is unbelievable from Kelly Gallagher today. And Celtic looking for a second. Gallagher off the post. Incredible. I think she's trying to hang it up at the back post for maybe Chloe Craig and Otto running in there, but she's really unlucky to see that come crashing back off the, the post. Reardon drifting forward. Lefersky away from Ellis Notley, beating in a goal not too far away from that far post and turning the ball into the net again. Again, they're looking really sharp, aren't they? It's Lefersky this time that just drops the shoulder and spins away and She's unlucky again to not see it curling at the side. I think she slipped as she went to take the shot, so she'll be disappointed that that's happened. Shen drops for Flint right into the chest of Haaland. With the scoring form that Natasha Flint's on. Don't want to allow her to pick up those second balls on the edge of the box, especially for her to hit with that boot. Gallagher on top of the goalkeeper and nodded in by Chloe Craig. Haaland came off her line, she missed the ball and Chloe Craig was there to duck her head and nod it into the back of the net. Yeah, it's just it's disappointing defending from a Hibs point of view but Chloe Craig just stepped up there and, and got an easy one for her there. Is there a response from Hibernian to come or will Celtic keep up their commanding position and add to their current two-goal lead? You could just see possibly the ball slowing up with the water on the pitch and that's a mistake from Haaland and you can't afford to give Natasha Flynn opportunities like that. That is the absolute last thing that Hibs needed at the start of the second half. Um, as you can see they've got safe secure possession and it's, it's just a mistake, there's no other way to describe it. She's, I don't know if she lost concentration or what she thought, um, but fair play to Natasha Flynn, she's followed the ball up well and she's got a reward from it. Gallagher not being picked up. Tegan Bowie's on the left side. That's where the ball goes. Bowie one on one with Lawson. There's the strike. It's not far away from that top left corner. Tegan Bowie showing that energy she always does there and looking to make an impression. Jacinta looks like she's lining up for the shot that one just clipped past the post Halland wasn't sure she spread herself across with that right hand it's just kind of low gear from Celtic it felt like Jacinta wanting to go on the driving run it just bounced which made, made it a bit difficult for Halland too as she's trying to watch
Shane McEnany Jacinta back from McEnany Jacinta trickles her way through she still has it around the goalkeeper and Notley's there to clear away Jacinta finding a way through Eddie stumbled that right hand of Haaland just maybe took some of the pace out of the ball and made it easier for Notley to deal with Jacinta Ferguson Jacinta continues and it's off the post Shen there finds the corner it's awarded Jacinta again that non-stop running creating danger in the Hibs penalty area played the pass continued the run Ferguson aware until it clipped the post right at the end we've just got to keep going we've just got to keep knuckling down and uh, we're playing for pride now we're not even if we had no injuries we're not playing to win a league we're not playing to win a Scottish Cup so for us it's about pride and, and keeping pride in the badge I think overall it's been a fantastic day three points clean sheet uh, five, five finals to go today was the most important one and we managed to put a tick uh, and then it's five to go, so very, very happy.